Hi, my name is Rob Jacklin. I'm the Instructional Technology Coordinator at St. John Lutheran School in Ellisville, Missouri, coming to you over Skype. Many teachers have trouble with students on having them do multimedia projects because we always have to deal with issues of copyright around how do I cite <clears throat> and how do I appropriately use other people's work. Well, there's a great way around that using a tool called Creative Commons. Creative Commons is a some rights reserved license instead of a traditional all rights reserved license like you'd see in copyright. Uh, Creative Commons licenses come in kind of four, would have four characteristics. Creative Commons licenses uh, are attribution license. So a, a work that is, uh, that is licensed as attribution, um, the creator is basically saying, you're free to use it however you'd like, as long as you attribute me, give me credit. The second characteristic is uh, non-commercial. A uh, non-commercial license edition is basically saying, you're free to use it however you'd like, just as long as you don't make any money off of it. And the third characteristic you'll recognize is called a share-alike license. And what that means is you're free to use it however you'd like, but if you remix it and if you remaster it or if you change it in any way, you can't turn around and copyright. You also have to share it with other people in the share like license. And the last one is a non-derivative license, which says that uh, if you're going to use a, uh, any content made by a creator, you have to use it for its intended purposes. So if it's a picture, you can't put it into Photoshop and make any changes to it. So as teachers, Creative Commons really allows you the freedom to work with students doing multimedia projects without having to deal with those pesky Seventh Commandment issues of stealing other people's work.